What's going on tonight, everyone? Hope you're having a fantastic night. Tonight, as usual, we got some tier three patrons to shout out. We have James, Marissa, Charles, Zachary, Levi, Trisha, and Fonz. Thank you all so very much. You know why we're here. Let's get right into it. Finally checking out some corn. My knowledge of this band doesn't really go past Freak on a Leash. I played that a lot on Guitar Hero. Um, so that's about it. It's time to dabble in some more. Rather see what I've been missing. Got big drums. Nice bass. It's got some slip naughty vibes. Oh, yeah, big time. That is a groove. Okay, a little bit of hip hop too. That is a sick sound. Oh my gosh. These vocals too are very interesting. Some layered vocals back there. Maybe even some like slight Lincoln Parkish or Limp Biscuit or something in there. Getting a lot of vibes. And some drowning pool or something. What is going on? <laughs> The bass lines are amazing. My foot won't stop moving this, these drums. while since I played Guitar Hero, but that was freaking amazing, dude. That was awesome. All right, guys, Corn here with this track, Got the Life. That was really, really awesome. I'm super happy I checked this out. Again, my knowledge of this band really doesn't go past uh, Freak on a Leash, I think is what it was called. It was on Guitar Hero. Um, it was either three or World Tour. I can't remember which one. I played that song quite a bit there. But uh, this is again one of those really big bands that a lot of people know that I just never really got into or really delve into. 
Um, this and like Metallica is probably another one that my extent goes beyond Guitar Hero I don't know much about, but this was really, really cool. A lot of influences in this band I'm noticing based on other ones that I'm familiar with. A lot of Slipknot in here, kind of in those vocals, got some weird Corey Taylor stuff type going on there, which was really, really interesting. A lot of really weird kind of strange sounds as well that we would see in a band like that. Um, we had even some stuff that reminds me of like drowning pools, some like hip hop influences, um, some like Linkin Parkish Limp Biscuit type stuff. I, I don't know. There's a lot going on in here, but it sounds really, really cool. Love this guy's voice. Those bass lines, super catchy. Drums, I mean, my foot was going crazy the whole time. Nice, simple drums as well that was just really easy to find a groove and move with. And then all of the randomness tossed in, some vocal layers and things like that were really, really nice. Very fun track, really much enjoyed this. If you guys are familiar with this band, which I'm sure a lot of you are, throw some other suggestions out there for things for me to try out because uh, I'm interested to see what I've been missing out on. And as always, if you're still here, if you're still watching, thank you so much. And I will see you on the next one.